think that I think that yeah, works. it's live. It's live. Lovely, lovely. Sit down. Lovely. <laughs> Sit down. Vince. I need my glasses. Sorry. Hello, everyone. We're testing some new technological logistics today. It's just too far that way. Because what's all? What's all this? We don't need any of this. No, oh, no, no, not that. That's that's where it has to go. Mm. That's why I was saying it was bright blue. Okay. Okay. That, that was that was that was my concern. <laughs> mm. It's also like very light, if that makes sense. But I think that's just because it's Mamma Mia, so it's blue. Yes. Annoyingly, you cannot full screen with a TikTok. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, hello. hello. People are from in Pennsylvania. Dylan. Wow. New York City. Hello. Oh, I guess it's midday, so you will be awake. What am I talking about? Because it's the morning for you. It's 7, 7 a.m., I guess. It's like 6.45. Because mm. it's our midday. Um... That's... I guess knowing that... Oh, this is nicer. <laughs> My head is blocking it, is the problem we'll have. Well, Beth's head is going to be above. I don't know how they're going... I don't know how it's going to be shown, because TikTok's vertical. I mean, Olivia's normally show everything in landscape. Yes. So... <clears throat> Oh, I know where it needs to go. Science, science. Aaron, I'll let you chat to the people. Hello, everyone. Seven forty-five. It's a Hamilton bucket hat. Mickey, you gave them an extra hour. Hmm. You took them. It's seven forty-five, not six forty-five. Daylight saving started. Uh, I was going to say it felt like we were closer to America than we we were in that like UK feels closer to American t America time. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I feel like every year you, you try and find a way to... This is a low-tech solution to a high-tech problem. From Tasmania, that's really cool. 10.50pm, wow. Hello, Amsterdam. Right, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, everyone, I just... I... Ah. Ah. Oops. That was one of me. Stop, stop, Tobias, stop. Um... Yes, I did speak to him as if he was here. Um, could I please have the mouse? As I cannot... Thank you. As I cannot... As I'm releasing comments. And I realise that once the awards start, I, we will turn on vision. So... Hello, everyone. Um, yes, I agree with everybody that's concerned and worried about Strange Loop. It's always scary when a show closes, like, has an earlier run in the season year, because it's easy for something to be forgotten. Um, hello, Canada. Hello, ne the Netherlands. Lots of old people from the Netherlands. That's so cool. Um, we literally only spend that afternoon in Amsterdam, and I'm still annoyed about it. <laughs> because we got there, realised how much I was like, oh, this is so lovely. But obviously, as soon as that first show of six ended, we needed to literally jump in an Uber to go back to the UK to watch the evening show of six. So, New Jersey, we have so much love for New Jersey because we've been there quite a few times now on all of our trips. It's been kind of cool to watch multiple shows in New Jersey. Um, and the trains are cool, also. The trains are cool. I do really like the train. I think that's as much between our heads as I can make it. I think so, and also, oh. like... If we don't... Oh, no, it's just going to turn the whole thing off. I was hoping it could, like, cover part of it. I could put something there. I don't mm. know what. What show's bucket hat are you wearing, Mickey? You can't quite make it's it It's Hamilton. It says, awesome, wow, and it's reversible. The other logo is more, obviously, Hamilton. That's a good look. Yeah, I think look they they sell it at the... The UK tour's definitely got it, so I'm gathering the West End production to this as well. Wouldn't know, because we haven't been to the West End one in years. Um, but For no good reason. We need to go back. I always say that that side looks like 
and Juliet. So it does for a second. I think it's on Juliet. Awesome! Wow. What um, time are we at? It's eleven fifty-two. Okay. Deep breaths, everyone. We're not there just yet. Hello, rainy Essex. It's rainy where we are as well. The UK is rainy today. It's rainy. Maybe they're prepared for the sad for the sadness of snubs. There's always the joys of nominations, but at the exact same time. I'm not even ready to go there yet. I'm going to go get my glasses. I'll leave you with the people. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry. 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 I can't move. <laughs> I was like, I can't go anywhere. Hello, Sydney. Yeah, rainy England. We are all agreeing here. It's very rainy. Um, gosh, it's almost Eurovision. We're so international. We're more than international. We have a, we have multiple continents here, which is very cool. Woohoo! Um, what is the big shocker for today? Um, I, uh, I think there could be just major ones across the board. I don't know. I don't. I'll know as soon as it happens. Because I don't think there's some things like there's some things I've just not contemplated, like the concept of Nicole Scherzinger not getting a nomination. Oh, that's a non-starter. That's not in the realm of possibility. I think if that happened, people would throw things at their, TV, at their TikToks. We're hearing interesting things unfolding about the category formerly known as best score slash new orchestrations. Be prepared for that to be a bit different to what you're expecting, is what I will say. Um, how's the camera South quality, Africa. everyone? South Africa, how cool. Oh, wow. How's the camera quality, everyone? Because this is the first time um, using new technology to go live using my actual camera. Um, so hopefully that's going well. Are we out of focus because we're not in the middle? Uh, that's what it is. It prioritizes the middle. That's fine. Um, which is where the TikTok is. <laughs> Yes, we'd love to come back to the Netherlands. Because six is also going back there again. I'm not saying that we will see that again, but like, it does seem really cool. And I'd really like to go at some point with our friend Danny, because Danny can then like, yeah, show us. Like him. Hello, Sean. I'm glad that you're here with us. Of course you're watching while still in bed. I love that I'm Sean's surprised. watching in bed, as are the Americans, and Sean, and like, Sean is in the UK. Do you want to nudge forwards a bit, I'm thinking? <laughs> I've taken your coaster away, haven't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or have I? Yes. I think you literally put it on it, yes. <laughs> There we go. There we I go. think I'm going to be blurred regardless. I, we both are, because we're not in the middle. But it's fine. Yeah, and we can't be in the middle because of the projector. Yeah. Unless we... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm being... Being regenerated on Doctor Who. Oh my gosh! That's both. No, 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 no. The other, the opposite way. If I go the other way, I'm off the screen. Three minutes. Well, let's figure I'm that literally out. off the. Camera. That's why I was saying I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. How far do I need to go to? <laughs> if it can, that's that's too much. Yeah. My bucket hat is in the way. I mean, I think people... Don't stress the focus, it's about the audio. Some people were saying, don't blind yourself, True. Mickey, you guys look fine. <laughs> don't worry about being out of focus, audio is always key when it comes to video. Um, all good with quality, currently casting it on my bigger TV screen. Quality is braille, hope you're both doing well. So we said the projection's now blurred. Um, oh, the projection was... Actually, that's a good point. Uh, no, that's just how it's coming across on the camera. Because it's not here. The live has it started. Also... The live has started. Um... We 
where? Here, but I don't know how it. Oh, hello. Oh, it's oh no, it's a, like a YouTube video, but it's only the bit in the middle. Yeah. Fine. So it's there. It is. There it is. That is it. Yes. Hadestown is eligible for this year's Olivier's. It opened in time by about a week. It was quite in. Thanks to the <clears> cheapest <throat> theatre ticket video you made last year. I've been able to go to two shows since then and have five more planned for this year after finding out about ATG Price Promise. Yay! That was your video. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad it's worked for you. I need to remind more people about that, actually, because I was nervous it they were stopping it so yay might do a tweet about them also yes i am drinking from a chip mug what would happen if we it's chip oh. we have a dale one as well and they stack so you can have chip and dale and they stack Sunset i feel Boulevard. like if there was a third one i would love like i think you should get a clarice one or just do the whole fab fire like all the fab, all the Mickey and friends, so that they can all just stack. That's not better. I don't know why. But that no, would be that's better. no. Book it out. Covers more though now. Maybe. Okay. I think just relax. <laughs> Lower the desk. Mickey, I think just relax. <laughs> Push the trigger halfway on the camera to focus. It's it's not doing any of its normal commands because I'm using it as streaming software. This is a learning curve, but you can see us. We have a soft focus. Do you know what? It's we're not <laughs> we're not ready to be seen in high definition today. Crane so get fine. Crane get Aaron talking about his Chippendale mugs, and Mickey is singing Sunset Boulevard while stressing. That's actually an excellent oh, people just window think, into our relationship. I also think this is a sign when everybody's telling you to stop. <laughs> but, yeah, because yeah, that's better with the lowering of the... I know, but I think you're stressing them out because <laughs> you're stressing and that's not comforting. We've got 218 people here. <laughs> Look, literally, relax. Relax. Thank though. you, Dylan. It's because I'm stressed about the nominations. It works with soft focus. We are happy. I Lovely. think just calm. Good. Just sit. It's 11.59. I'm not prepared for this, everyone. It's literally everybody's telling you to go after <laughs> too much. Do you know I forgot Aspects was even <laughs> part silly. of this season? I think we might get a two-figure list if that show appears, of shows that get no nominations. Yeah, this is one of those sad things where we, it will be a list of, pe of shows. Are we expecting that just anything for Aspects? Are we expecting anything for... Um, will Bake Off ever show up? Bake Off, To My Despair, Time Traveller's Wife. Doubtfire. We think it will get one, but we don't know. Two Strangers we think is going to be eligible for Best Achievement in Affiliate Theatre, in an Affiliate Theatre, and not in any other categories. We think it's going to be main category next year, and that the West End run will be the one that... Bev is here. Why can't we hear? We can't hear you, Bev. We were hearing it with the uh, Mama Mita. 24, with MasterCard. I'm Beverly Knight. Can you hear Bev? I'm starring as Dolores Van Cartier in the Olivia Award nominated production. Did she say Olivia? Act yeah. At the Dominion Theatre. And I am so excited to be sharing this moment with you today. It's too loud, Bev. Without further ado, the nominees are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Award for best Frequency. entertainment or comedy play. Okay. Accidental Death of an Anarchist. I didn't even think about that being eligible. Oh my god. Stranger Things is entertainment. Stranger Things is entertainment. Stranger Things. Bardi vs. Rooney got in. At the Phoenix Theatre. Bardi v. Rooney. The Wagatha Christie trial. Not the witches. Old Friends is not a surprise. Everything else was. Accidental Death of the Anarchist. Come on. No Winnie the Pooh. Dinosaur World Live. No Winnie the Pooh. Park, open air this is already crazy. The house with chicken legs. At South no Central, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh. Sorry, we need to tell you what these are. Um, so yeah. The smooths, at the lyric this is, we've just done best entertainment comedy and family show. Now it's choreographer. 
All right, we need it louder because I can't see it. We have Sunset Boulevard, Dear England, Not a Surprise, Guys and Dolls, yeah. Little Big Things. We didn't see that coming. Yay, Susan Stroman. Crazy for you. No Stephen Mia. No Stephen Mia for Lacage. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What was the other one? Well, it's five. I wasn't expecting five. Yay about that one. Death Yay choreography. About that one. Because you have BSL in it, and also the, the choreographer is Deb, who is either half of Stephen Mia. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Award for best costume design. Paul Winnie the Pooh. Paul Winnie the Pooh. Costume design, we have Guys and Dolls, Lacage, Peter Pan at the Palladium, you did yeah. say. And Doreen Gray. Doreen Gray, deserved. Deserved, yeah. actually. Who didn't get in? Who didn't get in? Most musicals, all the new musicals, Hades Town. Hades Town didn't get in for costume. Crazy Few didn't get in for costume. Um, but no, only one play you know, in costume. Best revival. Yeah. best revival. This is plays. The effect at the National Theatre. Effect at the National. Macbeth. Macbeth. Yeah. Shirley West. Valentine. Yep. Vanya. Shirley Valentine. No, 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 no. It's plays. Theater. Calm down. Don't worry. Plays, plays, plays. Plays. Best musical revival. Musical revival. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Hades Town. Hades Town revival. Hades Town's in revival. Hades Town's in revival. Hades Town. Hades Town's in Revival. Sunset Boulevard at the Savoy That Theater. changes a lot. Crazy for you. D &D, no Lacage, no Crazy for You. Best sound design. Oh my god. Paul Arditi. Stranger Things for Sound Design, Dear England for Sound Design, Adam Fisher, Theater. Gareth Fry for Macbeth, you were right. Yeah. And yet again. For Dear England. That's no National just for one Theater. day. No just for one day at all. Only one musical. Yeah. Only one musical in sound design. Why is there only one musical in sound design? At the Domar Warehouse. Oh my gosh. Outstanding musical contribution. What is this category? What is this? Outstanding musical contribution. Tom Brady for musical supervision and arrangements, and Charlie Rosen for oh, just for one day. It's arrangement orchestration. Operation Score is out. Me is in. For musical supervision, arrangements, and wow. orchestration. This is what we'd heard though. Score is out of yeah. score slash orchestrations. It's now musical contribution. For musical direction. I'm glad they're getting recognised, but that's the not theater. perfect. Alan Williams. Alan, okay, so Guys and Dolls, Just for One Day, Mince Meat, Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. Can you still hear us okay, by the way? This is very loud. Best actor in a supporting role. Actor in a supporting role in the play. Will Will close. Close. Paul, Paul Hilton. Hilton. Giles Torreira. Luke Thompson, Zubin Vala. Yeah. An enemy of the people the no Dara no. from Dear England. But we saw three of those house. coming. Yeah. Luke Thompson. I mean, Paul life. Hilton, five. Paul Hilton, and Giles Serrera are both exceptional. Life. Yeah. And Savoy I forgot about Clyde's. Best actress in a supporting role. <clears throat> this again is this is still plays actresses supporting role play. Expect Hills of California. For till the stars come down. No the Hills of California at all. No Hills Green of California. Bradford. I'm sorry. Hayden Quinn. Hey, I wondered, I wondered if she'd Wednesday get one. That's, a, that's a posthumous Gina nomination Gina for Hayden Gwynn. Gina McKee got in, you mentioned her. Yeah, Tanya, Tanya Reynolds for Paul a mirror. Mirror. Also, this makes me wonder, because Till the Stars Come Down got in. And I knew that it had been doing well. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we'll do our best to tell you who's getting nominated if you can't hear it. So set design now. Stranger Things, Guys and Dolls, Dear England, Sunset Boulevard. The first shadow at the Phoenix Theatre. Bunny Christie for set design for Guys and Dolls at the Bridge Theatre. As Devlin for set design. You were right Ashton about Guys and Dolls. For Dear England, um, but Sun the Sunset Theater, Boulevard Day is crediting. Okay, so Sunset Did Boulevard you, crediting their video, video design. And, Nathan Anzi and, Joe for and video Dear design. England also crediting Sunset their video design. design. And Stranger Things also. Yeah. This, this category is video design. Other than Guys and Dolls. Life, Three of the set designs are credited design. for video designs. <clears throat> John Clark. Dear England, Stranger Things, Guys and Dolls, Sunset Boulevard. This is lighting now. John Clark for Stranger Things. That's, that's kind of what I expected. That's theater. pretty much what we expect. I know I had John Clark twice. And, and Jack Nolan. And Jack. And Paul Jack Const Paulie Constable. For Sunset Boulevard at the Savoy Theatre. Okay. Best actress in a supporting role in a musical. <sighs> supporting actress in a musical. Grace Hodgett Young ah! for Sunset Boulevard at the Savoy Theatre. Zoe Roberts. No Hades Town. No Hades Town at all. No Hades Town at all. Eleanor Worthington got in. But Amy Trigg. Amy Trigg's in. Grace Hodgett Young's in. Okay. Grace Hodgett Young from Sunset Boulevard. Zoe Roberts from Operation Mincemeat. Amy Trigg from Little Big Things. 
and Eleanor Worthington Cox. Beverly Knight is yelling at us now. No, no, Gloria Nitri or Melanie Barry is a shocker. That is a shocker. But Grace got in for sunset. Yeah. And then we're, okay, we're halfway. halfway. Supporting actor in a musical. Oh my gosh. Jack Malone. Yeah. Jack Malone and Cedric Jack Wolf Neil, sitting here on David Thackson. David exactly yeah. as we expected. Yep. 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 Calls yep. this four for four. Yep. I'm so pleased. Yep. Yes, Jack Malone. Yes, Jack Wolf. Oh. And so, and so he got in, which is really nice. But, so like, but I'm also shocked. <laughs> okay, it's opera. We can all take a breath. Blue. Oh wow! Blue. Oh, that was the Innocence. blue was Janine oh, Tesori. Janine Tesori. That's yeah. a Janine Tesori Picture opera. Janine Tesori. Picture a day like this. Royal Innocence and the Rheingold. The Rheingold. Two English national operas and two royal opera houses. Yeah, as to be expected. Outstanding achievement in opera. Tony revival and then <sighs> there's so, there's oh, been so many wow. shots. Wow. Oh, Sheesh! I can't today. This is Belarus Free Theatre Company. This is, this is crazy, Sean. This is crazy. This is crazy. Jack Wolf should come Marina to Broadway. <coughs> Jack Wolf is so talented. Oh my gonna, gosh, this I'm is a lot. Actor in a musical. Like actor in a musical. Actor in a musical. Oh my God, this is lead. David Cumming. David David Cumming. 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 Tom Francis, Francis Daniel, Daniel Mays, Mays, Charlie Stem. No Gabriel Vick. Or no Carl Ramar Freeman. For Guys and Dolls at the Bridge Theatre. No Kyle. Charlie Stem. But they loved Operation Mincemeat, which makes me think Operation that Mincemeat. it's going to win. But where's Kyle? Yeah, for Strange Loop. Where's the Strange Loop Natasha at all? Hodgson. Natasha Hodgson. Oh, yes. Casey Levy. This is exactly yeah. as we predicted. Yeah. Casey Natasha Levy. Hodgson, yeah. Casey Levy, yeah. Nicole Scherzinger, Marisha Wallace. Nicole Scherzinger for Sunset Boulevard at the Savoy Theatre. No Ed Larkin Marisha and Johnny Wallace. Amy's. No, it was no Cylinder. Such a busy year. No Cylinder. It's such a popular year for Leeds. Broken Chord at Sadler's Wealth. This is Dance. Spring at Sadler's Wealth. Broken Chord, The Right of Spring, The Router, <laughs> Time Spell. Dance there were a lot of Americans in that category, you're right. At Sadler's Wealth. Time Spell. Part of Turn It Out with Tyler Peck and Friends at Sadler's Wealth. Phew. Hades Town, I think, is giving me the biggest shockers. Uh, I, I think they're going to have to tell Marisha on Isabella Big Brother. Corsi, yeah. So Marisha Wallace just got Olivia nominated for an Olivier Award. She's currently in the, the celebrity Big Brother, Big Brother House. The artistic direction of Breaking Convention 2023, International Festival of Hip Hop Dance Theatre. We're not well. too far off the mark with our predictions so far, but there have been some <laughs> plot <laughs> twists. Supporting actress in a musical, I think, has shocked me the most. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Unusual rigging award for outstanding achievement. Affiliate Theatre. Theater. Yeah. Come on, two strangers. Blue Mist at the Joe no. Theatre no. upstairs. At the, Royal Court the Time Machine got in. Blue Mist. The, the Time Machine. The Sleepover got in. Sleepover at the Bush. No at Feeling Bush Afraid. Theater. A playlist for the, the Revolution swell. and the Swell. The Orange Tree Theatre. Orange Tree Theatre, Bush the Theatre, Jerwood Theatre at the Royal at Court. The um, and the Park Theatre. Yeah. Best, Best director. director. This is going to be huge. Stephen Doldry is Justin in. Martin. Sam Mendes is in. Rupert Gold and Jamie Lloyd. Who's not in? Who didn't make that? Dear England at the National Theatre. Only four Olivier. nominees. No Evo. No Evo Van Hove. No Evo. No Evo. Um, no Rachel Chavkin. No Rachel Chavkin. No <clears throat> Only one musical. But I think because Rachel Best Chavkin would have been eligible for the last one as well. So I don't know Laura how that would have worked. Laura, Laura Donnelly, Sophie Smith, Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker, Parker, Sarah, Sarah Snook. Who's Dave, been excluded from that? So no Maureen Lippman. Sarah Jessica Parker. Plaza Suite at the Savoy Theatre. Oh. Sheridan Smith for Shirley Valentine at the Duke of York's Theatre. I don't know if Dear England would work Snow in Circle in the Square. The of Dorian Gray at Theatre Royal. I don't Hill. know. It's not, it's not that thrusty. Best actor. <clears throat> Best actor in a play. <clears throat> Joseph Fiennes. Joseph Fiennes, James, James Norton, Mark Gatiss. Just Andrew only Scott. one of them for no, Motive. No, Johnny Mark Flynn. Gatiss. No, for Motive, Motive in the Queue. The National Theatre. David Tennant no is in. This I'm is pretty close Scott. to what we had. No, no Matt Smith. I, yeah. Andrew Scott for Vanya at the Duke oh, of York's Theatre. God. David Tennant for Macbeth at the Donmar Warehouse. Loads of shows not having a single nomination so far. For best, best new, new play. play. Motive, Hills of California, Dear, Dear England. England Until the stars come down. Yeah. Dear England, Hills of, Hills of California, Motive and McHugh, Till the Stars, the stars Come Down. Three out of four are National, National Theatre. What a huge theater. year. 
I could see Tilda Skulls go down going to the at her place. Yeah. Best new musical. Best new musical. Best new musical. The little big things at at Strange Loop. Next to normal at the Dunmar Warehouse. What didn't get in? Operation Mincemeat. There's only four. The There's only four. There's only four. No oh, Hades Town. No just for one day. No just for one day at all. That's a good Some list. They had one nomination. The full list of nominees for that was a good list. I liked yeah. that Best New Musical list. I can't wait to see you there on Sunday the 14th of April Oof. where the winners will be revealed and in the meantime you can book tickets to see me in Sister Act at officiallondontheatre.com Nice plug, Bev. Nice plug. Okay. Uh, okay. Andy Carl Andy wasn't Carl eligible, eligible because he's won, won this award. He won this award the first time around. Groundhog Day was technically <clears throat> a revival and it did... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for... Just, yes, so happy for Cedric Neal because Cedric did such a freaking good job. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> this has been chaos. And Tristan, and they're oh. like, let me find the list. Let's edge closer and then we're going to talk through um, and we'll see if we can work out um, who, <sighs> which of us um, were closer in our predictions. Wow. Wow. How did Stranger Things land in the best entertainment category instead of new play? Because they, because they put it there. Because As in the Stranger Things producers will... Or did Billy Olivier decide? How does it work? I think it's where they position sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, I just haven't got just only one nomination. Yeah. Madness. Yeah. Yes. It, so it was at the national before, which means that things will have been eligible before. So I don't even know what was eligible this year, because like I don't know if the costumes were eligible or the set were eligible or whether it was just eligible for a revival because that. It's the only thing that's changed. The acting norms is what shocks me with Hades Town, that we didn't see Mel, Zachary, Gloria involved at all. That surprised or me. anything creative, like no set, no costume. But what I mean is I don't know if that was eligible at the National and not enough has changed for them to oh, I see. view the math yes. eligible. Sorry, they I was might not, my phone. The creative sides might not have even been eligible yeah. because of the National run. What am I stuck on? The acting noms. What am I stuck on? Um, I can't. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm very confused. I'm just trying to get it to not pull the focus. <sighs> yeah, we don't know if um, Rachel Chalkin was eligible <clears throat> for Hades Town. Um, so Mincemeat got all four categories. All four acting categories. Mincemeat getting all four categories is not something I expected. I thought next to normal, I thought Sunset would, which it did. And I thought next to normal might, which it didn't because it didn't get Jamie Parker. Yeah. Which was the more like, wasn't sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello to anyone just joining us. Um, the Hades Town set was the same. That, that production was very much the pre-Broadway. Biggest snub. Oh, hard to say. I think Gabriel Vick not getting one for Mrs. Doubtfire when What's everyone at the time was like, he's going to win the Olivier. Yeah. Was a surprise. Um, Eva Van Hove not getting Best Director for A Little Life. Did A Little Life not get Best Play? No. No, it didn't. A Little Life literally you just got acting. Yeah. Um, nothing for Ed Larkin or Johnny Amy's. <clears throat> for the little big things. Nothing for Johnny Flynn. That was a surprising snub. Vardy V. Re Rooney getting a nom was a surprise. Um, yeah. Justice for Aspects of Love. Good luck with that one. Um, my stomach is rumbling with nervous anticipation. Oh, boy. Oh, so, boy. People are going to be talking. I'm so happy for Cedric Neal. I'm happy for Cedric Neal. I'm so happy for... Jack Malone. I'm happy for and Amy Trigg. And Amy Trigg and just all four of the Mincemeat nominees. Um, sad for then Claire being the only one of yeah. the five who didn't get one. Um, did Mark Gatiss get a nom? Uh, he Mark did. did. Johnny Flynn didn't. Mark Gatiss got a nomination. Justice for a Strange Loop, but it got Best Musical. What's What's the shock? Tuppence Middleton didn't get a nomination. Tuppence Middleton didn't get a nomination. 
how how I had her winning that category. Because she wasn't in Best Actress and she's definitely not in Supporting. That's wild. So only Mark Gates is getting any for the motive of Mickey. That's wild. You should create your own awards, the Mickeys. We joked very insincerely yeah, about this yesterday. Yeah, as a group yesterday. of friends who are all like, do we just make our own Let's make our own Olivier's. No Aspects one even knew either, it just upsets I'm me. I'm sure. Aspects was eligible. It unfortunately was not good. Um, genuinely thought the Little Big Things would have got a score on. It wasn't score. This is the problem. It's arrangements. So the composers have been nominated today as part of Best New Musical. So they are still Olivier Award nominees as the writers. The Olivier's are, are being very peculiar about this, like the same way. So when Best Play wins and the playwright goes up and accepts <clears> it, they're now doing that for musicals where it's the writers allegedly that will accept it. It's probably still going to be the producers who talk on the stage, but allegedly they will get Olivier's for their work. So, uh, yeah. No gal from Dear England. Yeah, there was, there was, yes. Uh, Gina McKee, who Gina played McKee that role at the National Theatre, did get a nomination, yes. Yes. Justice for Donald Flynn. Uh, Donald Flynn? Donald Flynn. Um, am I saying his name right now? Donal. Donal? I think I've been saying Donal. Donal. Donal? Donal. Like donut is what I got told. Hmm. Every time I try and do it in. Yeah, no Dara for Dear England. Um, it is way more confusing than the Tony Awards. You're absolutely right. Um, did all four leads from Sunset get nominated? Yes. yes. Ah, thank you. I am saying it right. Donal, I've learned. You've all taught me. Thank you, tiny Irish people <coughs> in my camera. Um, no Dara in Dear England. Wow. Wow. So musicals that got entirely snubbed. Great British Bake Off. Uh, Two Strangers didn't get that affiliate nom. Mrs. Doubtfire. Time Traveler's Wife. Aspects of Love, We Will Rock You, um, Wizard of Oz, At the Palladium, Once on this Island. Once on this Island. A lot of the, Lacar did Lakash get anything? I don't think Lakash got anything. So Regent's Park Open Air Theatre got nothing. Um, Grand Dog Day got the revival. Theatres that... Crazy Few not getting revival was an interesting one. How did Crazy Few not get revival? Because um, Hades Town knocked it out. I'm shook. Ain't Too Proud as well. <clears throat> Yeah. Thoughts on why Hadestown didn't get love other than revival. Because it was considered revival, it wasn't eligible in the creative categories. Therefore, only the performers could have got nominations. And for whatever reason, they did not. Oh, Lacage got costume. That's right. Yeah. Lacage got costume. Thank you, Thomas. Deserved. Madness. Madness. Um, there my, will be follow up videos talking about my the brain snubs because so much. Like. There's nobody, like, I'm happy for everyone, and, like, everything makes sense, but at the same time, I'm like... Also, I'm going to say this again. How with the play act? Why, how, question marks, to play all the play acting ones having five? Did they get five again? They oh. all got five, musicals got four. You can't tell me there was not five eligible for each one. So why? Why do plays get five automatically? What about plays means that they're allowed five? Because it feels like there's just they're allowed five. Ben <coughs> Benjamin Button wasn't eligible. They weren't eligible for, for anything. anything. It's also very possible that two strangers elected not to be considered this year, so they could for next year. I don't know why they would. Um but there you go. Um why do the revivals not get considered for creative categories? Revivals do, but because it's the same creatives as did Hades Town the first time it was in London, um, they can't be nominated for their same work again. Um, because it was the same production came back and they treated that as a revival. <coughs> so they were eligible the last time and they can't be eligible twice for the same thing. Yeah, if it if there was enough of a change, I think they would, but yeah. I mean, what upsets me more is then the first time around when Hades Town was eligible, it got nothing. Yeah. No noms at all. Mary Poppins, the choreo technically updated. Was um, yeah, not completely. But not completely, but it was enough, a, enough that they classed it. Um, was Pacific Overtures eligible? No, it was not. It was at the Menier. Rupert Gold did get a nomination and will probably win <laughs> for Best Director for Dear England. The Tony Awards are going to be crazy. But I think with the Tony Awards, it'll become a whole thing of what's open. That and the Tony's actually happen. That posthumous nomination for Hayden Gwynn was really lovely to see. 
and felt like a nice ode as well to the fact that she did a musical and a play in that final season. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, La Cage was nominated for costume. <laughs> Hades Town maybe next season. No, no, no they're, that's it. they're this one. The revival was then. What did Next to Normal get? Next to Normal did well. Next to Normal got uh, Best New Musical. <laughs> Casey, Eleanor, and Jack all got nominated. Yeah. They didn't get director. This was not a year for musicals to get director because there were so many heavyweights in no. directing plays. I don't think they were in arrangements either. I don't think they were. I'm anywhere so else. happy for Michael R. Jackson that A Strange Loop got in. So A Strange Loop like, has been nominated for Best New Musical, and Michael R. Jackson, as the writer, will have been nominated with that. That's yeah. the way the Olivier's are doing it this year. Um, score is out of the music category, and the composer, lyricist, writer <clears throat> are all nominated as part of Best New Musical. I'm, I'm, I am really happy with that Best New Musical category, and like the fact that Hades Town and was still in a different category. So yeah. I'm like, Joe Locke is not eligible for the Tony Awards because he's a replacement actor. He didn't open the show. Uh, same like with Leah Michelle with Funny Girl. Um, if anyone has any questions, if you missed anything, that was very. Uh, rushed, already stressed about next year with Imelda and Stephanie J. Block and and others, because my goodness um, that will be Imelda's to lose, I think everyone is probably assuming <sighs> surprise my daughter who loves you by the way with tickets to the Olivier's for her 18th birthday, that has got us super excited oh my gosh, you will see us there Yay, we will be there flag somewhere. us down, say hello we'll take a picture be lovely to meet you do you agree with Hades Town in Revival? Do we agree with Hades Town in Revival? That's a good question. I it, it, I spent it, all year telling you it was yeah. going to be Revival and then changed my mind and decided it was going to be new. And now I don't know how I feel about it. I'm just glad they got anal. Yes. It would have upset me if they... It, it would have upset me if at both Olivier's it was eligible, it never got a nomination yeah. for Best New of... Or Best Musical of some form. At least it has yeah. a Olivier nomination. We all need to watch Celebrity Big Brother tonight to see if they told Marisha and how they Not told tonight. Marisha. Not tonight. Not tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow, because they do a 24-hour edit. Fine. So she won't tomorrow. find out. We all need tonight, to watch Celebrity Big Brother tomorrow. <laughs> Was Groundhog Day eligible for technical awards since it was cut down from the original production? No, because I imagine it's the same creatives for similar work. Like it was, they, they probably if they wanted they to, been eligible, if they I wanted think. to, they could have, but not this year. I think, uh, unfortunately, plays take preference. I hope the play that goes wrong wins something. That's that was years old. That had its time. That was uh, that wasn't eligible this year because it didn't open this season. Um. Jamie Lloyd was nominated for Best Director. Um, who wins Best Play? Motive? Uh, no, Dear England, I think. Is Can we talk about probably. Stranger Things being in entertainment? Stranger Things being in entertainment. Wow. 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 Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Stranger Things being in entertainment and Old Friends and Vardy vs. Rooney and Accidental Death of an Anarchist. I mean... My boy, Daniel Rigby, did not get a nomination for Best Actor, which I'm sad about, but the production got nominated, which makes me happy, because it was really good. Why no Winnie the Pooh? I have no idea. No. I have no idea. I'm, I am still have question marks about the eligibility of Riverside Studios until we actually see a nomination from Riverside Studios. They have had one before. For what? Do I have it? I, I mean, I thought we've had one before. If anyone hears a low rumbling, uh, that's my stomach, by the way. No, the witches. I think, like, Mincemeat could now easily chance, but could go to New York just with those numbers alone, because now all four actors, like, four out of five of the main actors have helped, or now all know how to alleviate numbers. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Justice for <clears throat> Winnie the Pooh. Always. Uh, I don't think Big Brother will tell her because she could tell the other housemates and they are not meant to know anything about the outside world until they come out of the house. I think they'll give her an they, update. I think they let people know like certain big things because... I think they'll do like a whole thing about it. They'll be like, Marisha, please come to this room. Yeah. And, and I, I think... would like that because then everyone watching Celebrity Big Brother will hear the words Olivier Awards and have to Google what it is. And because also, like, the British I, public do not know. I think it frames her and her career a bit better because like what they like about that is education. Rob was eligible last year, and they got a nom for their show. Rob, Rob Madge has been eligible, has been nominated um, previously. Um, Melanie LeBarry being yeah, snubbed is cutting. Melanie and Gloria yeah. were the ones we were really hoping for, 
Hopefully we'll be at musical combo. I don't know yet. Don't know. Don't know what it is. Out for us. Is Tom Francis nominated for Sunset? Yes. yes. Dear England, Motive and Mince Me already transferred to Broadway. It's in, they're all in talks. Yeah. As is Standing at the Sky's Edge. Who's directing Dolly? Um, uh, uh, Dominic Cook, who did Follies at the National Theatre. Do you think the creative categories should be split between plays and musicals? No, we do not. The way, and I've made a video about this before, so I'm not going to rant about it again. The way that the Olivier Awards treat musicals as this less than alternative to plays has so many disappointing implications. The fact that it's called best revival and then best revival of a musical, best actor, best actor in a musical. The fact that plays, the fact that plays dominated sound design this year when it's plays and musicals in the same category, you cannot tell me, yes, some of those plays had a lot of moving pieces, but you cannot tell me that you do not need a more intricate and artful sound design in musical theater. You've got a band to contend with. You've got singing. <sighs> Utterly mental. Are the Olivier's similar to the Tonys here in America that you need a lot of nominations and wins to continue to run? Not as much because um, the answer is, oh yeah, no, no, Bernadette or Leia Salonga or Bonnie Langford no, for, for old friends. Me, but it got, it got its Olivier on, yeah. like the show did. Who will win leading actress? In a play or a musical? In a musical, Nicole Scherzinger. <clears throat> in a play, um, that's a little bit of a tighter race. It was Sarah Snook. Laura Donnelly, Sheridan Smith, and Sophie Okanido. And was there a fifth? Yes. Who was the fifth? Uh, sure Sarah Jessica fifth? Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker, oh my gosh. Um, which you kind of predicted. I my money's on Laura Donnelly, but maybe don't count out Sheridan or Sarah Snook. I don't know. That one that, I really, I really couldn't call that race. That race is too tight. Um, I don't think Sarah Jessica Parker necessarily though. Do you suggest also, to watch Hades Town? Yeah, go watch my review of Hades Town. That'll give you more a, of an insight into it. What a year for Grace Hodgett Young. What a year for Grace Hodgett Young. Graduating. I knew it would sunset. be the sunset nom. I knew it would be that sunset nom. Graduating sunset, Hades Town, Olivier nominated, and going to Broadway. Like, wow, crazy. That Incredible. The, Deserved. But like the most wow. wild year. And also, you know what's funny? You'd be like, some people would assume that Ellen Worthington Cox being like, oh, that's her first mum. No, she's a Neville Olivier Award winner since a child. Oh, yeah, Ellen she's, Worthington she Cox, is, one of was, the original Matildas. She, she, I don't think she was. I don't think... Mm, I'm trying to remember she was the youngest of the four. Because there was one of the four that was classed as the youngest ever Olivier Award winner. Oh, I, I don't can't remember, remember which one it was. I think I thought it was Cleo. She just looked the tiniest. She looked the tiniest, but I'm not sure. I don't know. But, but yeah, uh, I don't know. It has like this yeah. is like this shows, but this is her first nom, I think, as a yeah. as an adult. So that's um, re replacement actors in shows are not eligible for nominations. <clears throat> so Stevie and Tobias will not be eligible. They're also not in big like awards worthy roles. It is worth saying. Um, who will perform on the night? That's... I guess then we won't hear from just one day unless they. Perform as part of the arrangement for sound. Um, we will definitely have Operation Mincemeat. Yeah, Mincemeat I think will be. There will have to be next to normal. Hades I think... Town will be there. Groundhog Day will be there. I don't know. Because they're in revival. Well, they I don't know. As well. I don't know. Um, I assume Nicole is going to do something. <clears throat> next to normal will perform. I'll enjoy your schmackeries and the plays. What plays are you seeing? Um, I miss schmackeries. Do you think Sunset will come? It's already going. It's already going. Could the Olivier's create a best understudy category? What would be the logistics of that? Hugely challenging because the nominators and the voters would have to see every eligible understudy in the West End. I don't know how you would possibly do that. You'd have to have performances where all the understudies go on at every show. All the tickets would be cut. That would be a huge expense. Um, so sadly, it's not really feasible. Do you think any of the OG Guys and Dolls cast will perform or will it be the current cast? Hard to say because when Cabaret, it, it's sort of case by case <coughs> basis. There are no rules with the Olivier's. They're wild. Some years, often they go with the new cast because Amy Lennox them. performed for Cabaret. The only thing I could see them doing, no, I, I think it will be the new cast, but I could see it maybe being Adelaide. 
being one of the group members. I'd have thought they'd do sit down your rock on the boat. In which case, I assumed it would be Cedric. Mm. Either that, or it would, or I'd have thought it would have been um, Adelaide and um, Nathan's duet because they're both nominated. The um, I don't know why the Olivier's doesn't have separate awards for score and orchestrations. This year they did, only they didn't because the award is now just arrangements and orchestrations and score is now awarded as part of Best New Musical, the same way that a playwright is acknowledged for Best Play. Uh, Best New Musical this year is acknowledging the writers. Um, are you attending the Tonys? Uh, I have no plans to attend the Tonys. What happened to the Best Long Running Musical Award they used to have as part of this morning? I don't know. I don't know. The Sound of Music didn't get any nominations either. The Sound of Music was not in London this year. That was in Chichester, so that wasn't eligible. Um, yeah, I'm very surprised Johnny Flynn didn't get that nomination for Motive in the Queue and Tuppence Middleton. Who, either. If you watch my review, you know how much I loved her in that play. I was stunned. That was my go. That was the, that was. I think we said that was the lock. Yeah, we did. We said that's a lock. Nope. Not a lock. Not a lock. Um. I fully think prepare for Till the Stars Come Down to transfer. I think to, to outsell her place, do you yeah. think? Yeah. Because it was in the Dolphin, it's in the round, that's a round thing. Little big things will definitely perform. Pitch. Little big things will 100% perform. Um, I could see them doing The World Is Waiting For You. Yeah. Or The Little Big Things, the number <clears> itself. <throat> um, best ensemble category is tricky because you end up giving, you make lots of people Olivier Award winners, Tony Award winners every year. And that then sort of changes their career. For some people, it actually makes it harder to get ensemble work when you become an Olivier or Tony Award yeah. winner. And then it's difficult. If you're in one of those shows where there's like a couple of leads in a full ensemble, if the lead doesn't win and everyone else in the ensemble does, what we should have is like best ensemble, best like ensemble cast for like an Operation Mince Me where it's the five of them or something like a Come yeah. From Away. So not like an ensemble in the dance sense, <clears throat> but in like that cast. Um, you guys were rooting for Dara Hand. What made you think he was elevated over the other Dear England squad members? We had the two of them. It was Dara and Will, and Will did get a nomination. Will was the one we thought definitely would, and then Dara was the other one who might. Um, they just, and it was just the material that they had. They had um, more interesting things to play. They had a little bit more narrative thrust I want to see Charlie Stamp, Tom Eden perform their brilliant number mirroring each other in What Causes That. Um, that would be cute. I'd be surprised if they don't do a big dancey thing, especially because they did get a nomination for Best Choreography. Sorry, Al. Sorry? Right. It's in the middle of the, day, of the daytime, so emails come through. Yeah. Um, Grand to but no crazy view is wild, isn't it? Are shows at the Globe eligible for the Olivier's? Yes. I'm so disappointed for Gloria not being nominated. I'm surprised. Yeah. How do you feel about famous TV and movie actors doing West End or Broadway? They get people in the theatre, but I feel like awards love nominating them to get viewers, sometimes undeservedly. I That's a conversation we could probably have around... It's not, not a lot of that this year but very possibly like the sarah jessica parker of it all but i haven't seen plaza suite so i think I you had good amazing things about her in that show apparently she's very good in it um there are i mean there are other celebs they could have nominated if they wanted to just matt smith wasn't nominated go that route. matt smith didn't get a nomination um luke evans wasn't nominated luke evans didn't backstairs get anything billy in general because penelope wilson as well yeah wasn't. nothing for backstairs billy who do you think will win Best New Musical? There was so much Mince Meat Love today, so much more than we expected. I think it'll be Mince Meat. That me. bows really well for Operation I'd be surprised Mince Meat. if it wasn't. I think I would be surprised if it wasn't now. Yeah. Could only nominate one former doctor, so David got the nod. Could you imagine if the two of them were both nominated in that category? Uh, do you think Hannah Waddingham will come back to the West End now that she's such a star? Yes, absolutely. She loves musical theatre. Um, but she can write her own ticket. She can decide what that, that show is going to be because she's a huge draw. So she's going to wait until it's the right show, it's the right creative team, it works for her personally, and is it going to be West End or is it going to be Broadway? I don't know. Was really hoping for an Ed Larkin and Johnny Amy's joint nomination. That would have been really lovely. 
Um, it was such the fact that Gabriel Vick didn't get in for Doubtfire, the fact that Kyle Ramar Freeman didn't get in for Strange Loop pains me and shows what a busy year it was. Yeah. Who was in lead actor in a musical? I mean, there's no reason there shouldn't have been five nominations. There is no good reason. There's no reason that all the musical categories shouldn't have been five. How can you tell what days Hannah Lather does in six? She updates it periodically on her social media, on TikTok and Instagram. Um, so just wait till she does that and then screenshot it is my best advice. Um, Hannah and the cast of Ted Lasso. What about Hannah and the cast of Ted Lasso? Oh, about them all doing theater. theater? Yeah. Um, we were mid to talking about something. Yeah, who else was in lead actor in a musical? David Cumming was the one did not see coming. Um, it was, pardon it, was the pun. it was David Cumming, Charlie Tom Stemp, Francis, Tom Charlie Francis, Stemp, and <laughs> who was the fourth in lead actor in a musical? Oh my gosh. Oh, um, Daniel Mays. Daniel Mays, guys and dolls. Yeah, that was surprising. That was surprising. Thank you, Joe. Yes. It didn't surprise me because Nathan's in it as much as I'd like that I could have seen both of them. It's because in the Evening Standard and stuff, we'd only seen um, it was one category. Weirdly, weirdly, I think that was a tighter race with our predicted nominees. And now mm. I think it's mm. Charlie Stemps to lose. Yeah. Um, but no Kyle Ramar Freeman in that is <clears throat> is unforgivable, actually. It's some like it hot going to the West End. Yes, haven't heard much about that in a while, but yes. I want fun categories like best diva moment, most comfortable seats, best on stage couple, best merchandise. I would like that too. And like one I wish they had is best breakthrough performance. That's something Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards used to do. Ted Lasso actors have been performing two of them on stage at the moment. Yes, one of them in Uncle Vanya at the Orange Tree Theatre in Richmond. Um, another in Player Kings. Would you like to see touring productions included in the Olivier's? The logistics would be challenging. The logistics would be very challenging because then you'd want to include regional theatre as well. And then it's that's it's an enormous undertaking. Do the nominees get goodie bags? I hope so. I don't know. Ooh. Should we do... Interview with an Olivier Awards nominee. Very fun. Did Samantha Barks get anything? Wasn't eligible. Wasn't eligible this year because Frozen opened a while back. Do you think Maria Friedman will become a Tony winner this year? I think she has a very good chance. Andrew Scott has a good chance at winning. Um, Yeah, I mean, he could. Yes. Who was in that category? Lead actor in a play. Um... Who was it? It was Andrew Scott, it was James Norton, it was Mark Gatiss, it was Joseph Fiennes, um, no Louis McCartney, no. Stranger Things. Stranger Things going into entertainment just threw my brain a little bit. None of the cast members of... I mean, that's what Totoro did, so kind of get it, but also, surprise. Um, David Tennant, thank you, was the last one. So who, I think Andrew Scott does have a good chance. Joseph Fiennes is probably the bookie's favourite. Uh, the see, bookie I being would, me. I actually feel like Andrew Scott is probably the favourite. But then Mark Gatiss is like the traditional, like... Could, could come from the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Lots to consider. Lots to consider. Sorry, we're just decompressing now. I mean, we can talk at length about the number of people who deserved a nomination because uh, there will always... And the way the Olivier's are doesn't help. The fact that there are five get nominated for plays and four get nominated for musicals. Um, does Andrew Webber attend? Sometimes. I don't know if he was there last year, if he doesn't have necessarily a reason normally most of the time because most people are salt members he probably will because he'll probably introduce nicole performing in sunset or something yeah. he'll probably come on and be like this year blah, 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 i mean blah, blah. the big thing now is now that the nominations have been announced what announcements are going to come this week off the back of them who's ready to announce something this week i mean next <coughs> normal could put something out um if crazy for you was going to tour which i don't think they are um crazy for you did get a choreography nom they did. Susan Stroman got a nomination yeah, for the choreography. Susan Stroman got a nomination. Uh, if if they were going to tour, I mean, now is a good time for Mincemeat to announce stuff. 
Yeah. Um, if they have anything to announce. Do British people care about the Oscars as much as Americans do? Depends Not on Not as who. much as the Americans do, um, but weirdly British people probably care about, more British people probably care about the Oscars, certainly more of them know about the Oscars than know about the Olivier Awards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need next to, next to Normal to tour so I can see it. I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. Next to Normal, I think, is a cast recording. I think, because the audio in that little teaser that they put out is a recording of Casey doing My Psychopharmacologist and I. It's not the Alice Ripley recording. I wonder if Crazy Few will end up making its way across the pond. Allegedly, that was the plan. Get did Chris Jumbo get nominated? Chris Jumbo did not get nominated. I hate <coughs> that the Olivier's are so inconsistent with the amount of noms in those wide range <coughs> categories. It's, it, it's frustrating. Pretty sure Next Normal was already teasing something to be announced in a few days. Yeah, I think, I do think it's the cast recording. Didn't I read that a casting call went out for nearly the full Daring One squad for Broadway? Um, what is the point <clears> of transferring it with so few OG cast members? The challenge they will be facing is it's harder to bring over an entire cast. They have to make an argument for it, and you have to like balance it with equity, like if that many British actors are going over to work in America and taking the opportunities away from the American actors, then American actors have to have the opportunity to come over to London, so they often do exchange things. We've seen times before where full English casts have gone over and full American casts have come over here simultaneously. Yeah. Um, oh, Casey's singing Psychopharmacologist was in the trailer, so I don't know if it's from that. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, what about the Sunset cast recording? Uh, yeah, that too. That too. Um... Video design, I'm gonna go back to this because I meant to talk about it earlier. Um, th three out of four of the set design nominees are co-nominated for video design. And we talked about this. We said video design is huge this year. Yeah. It needs its own category really because that's <laughs> that's not implicit within set design and it does seem to have taken away from a lot of worthy set designers this year. Um, Will Imelda perform next year? Next year, and even she'll then, probably host something this year so that people she'll probably give out an award. In most, most of the well, a lot of the people that will be presenting awards this year will be people that are in shows next year. So, been announced. so you'll likely see like the two strangers cast will probably give one out because Stevie and Tobias might present one. Yeah, it'll be things like that. Oh, I think Amelda oh. will present. Um, hello, Jessica. Lovely to have you here. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put something down that I think will happen at the interviews. You heard it here first. So I think that the big performance from a show at the end will be Mamma Mia. Someone said someone said this because yeah, it's their Mama 25th Mia. anniversary. Because yeah. they because yeah. Book of Mormon did it when it was theirs. Uh, Greece, Joseph, they've all done them when it's their anniversary. I think Mamma Mia will be performing at the end, giving it that like just one look <coughs> and I can hear a bell ring. And it means that Stephen Tobias will perform at the interviews, which then yeah. You're we'll welcome for that beautiful performance. Um, Imelda, I assume, will give out Best Leading Actress in a Musical. Yeah. That feels obvious. She's won it before. Where's Best Front of House Manager Award? A good question. I would like to see someone doing whimsical award categories. I mean, the Olivier's is, like, prestigious and fancy, so I don't know how I feel like, could interpret I feel it. Like the, for, like, Front of House, there was an element with... I mean, the Olivier's do you think it's from different of has getting an Olivier this year. They do. So what they do They're instead, doing special they do Olivier special awards, awards where, it's, where it's people in industries that don't normally get awards. Those have already been announced. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie J. Block, Casey Levy and Samantha Barks performing Wicked. Stephanie won't be here yet. Um, and Samantha Barks technically has not been in Wicked. I say technically, she just hasn't. That's why you need your own awards for the fun categories. I, I mean, that would be fun. What would we call them? Do you think we could get a Stranger Things performance? I know Life of Pi performed before. Um, I don't know. I don't know, because Life of Pi were very much wanting to show off the tiger, and I think Stranger Things are a little bit more wanting to hide stuff. So, I don't know. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, but those were the Olivier Award yeah. nominations, everyone. Um, I'm going to be making content talking about some of like the biggest pieces of news. I will be doing a video here at the Mickey's, the MJ's, the, the OMG Hay Awards. Um, I will be doing a video here talking about everyone who did 
not get nominated. Stephanie J. Block is coming to London in Kiss Me Kate yeah. at the Barbican later this summer. Buy tickets. We have, we have now Triple, Olivier nominee, Charlie Stemp. With Olivier nominee, Charlie Stemp, who by then might be Olivier Award winner, <coughs> Charlie Stemp. Um, yeah. As well as Georgina Onwara and the guy from Line of Duty. Adrian Dunbar, thank you. I knew it would come to me. A uh, great cast, actually. That's a really great, yeah. great cast. Um, what a year. What a year. Yeah, it's I'm going to be. It's where it goes and dull, so it's quite nice to see it then getting its love. Yeah. I will be doing a video about all of the individuals, creatives, shows that did not get nominations, the shows that entirely didn't get nominations, because there is lots to talk about. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, as I know you all are, lovely people. Um, I'm going to be writing a piece about the Olivier Awards for a magazine as well. I will let you know when that's coming and where you can find it if anyone is intrigued. Um, but I'll keep this video up here. So if anyone's got any questions, once the live chat goes down, uh, you can just comment them down below and then someone else may be able to help or I may be able to answer them. Um, everyone who, um, thank you. If you didn't get a chance to get tickets to the live show that I announced at the end of May, stay tuned, watch this space. News coming about that as well. Um, but thank you all for joining us. This morning, I'm going to go lie down in a dark room now because that was very stressful and intense. Um, but thank you. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. What do I have to do now? Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your days. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.